What's going on guys? This is Dreeds here at Whether or Not. Back once again with another Call of Duty uh, World War II video. Shipment 1944, of course. We are, we are definitely playing that. Domination is the preferred match type in it. Of course, because it lasts long, you can get plenty of kills. It's a very, very good way to uh, score a lot of points. I actually believe they might have took out the double XP uh, games that they had while this was out because you could actually earn more points in here by just coming in here and voting to go to domination than you could on double XP. <laughs> so uh, that, I thought that was funny. But yeah, the map's so small, of course you're going to get a lot of kills, a lot of points, if you're good. Anyway, guys, I'm using the Sten. Uh, I've got a, a FMJs, I'm pretty sure, and the two barrels on it, I'm, I believe. And then I'm using the uh, Hustler perk. And this awesome revolver as my secondary. It is OP in my opinion. I love it. Uh, sometimes you can just shoot somebody once in the head with it and they are dead. I really believe I honestly should have got a triple kill right there. But I think the bomb might have hit the top of the uh, boxes is why I didn't. Anyway, another thing that I really enjoy about this is you, you don't see many people with rocket launchers. And that goes for this game, period. Like, you don't see a lot of people use rocket launchers. And, uh, I'm in the resistance class. I really enjoy this class because of the, uh, cone. The cone vision of the direction the enemies are in. When they get close to you, it has the red cone up there. I, I think that is so useful. I'm a person who watches their map constantly. I believe it's key to being good at this game. If you do not watch the map and know where the enemy's at at all times, then you're not going to be very good. You might get lucky every now and then, but on a consistent basis, you will not play very well. If you do not watch your map. So, that's awesome about this class. Not a lot of people use a perk to scramble the map. Not a lot of people use the... Uh, the the rocket launchers to shoot down uh, aircraft or UAVs which is crazy so I don't understand why people don't use counter UAVs in this game because uh, you know if you're not using a UAV why not put your lowest uh, kill streak at a counter UAV and uh, make sure your opponent doesn't know where you're at all the time I mean which in this map it would kinda be pointless because like you can see this map is super small uh, as you probably noticed, guys, I started out the first half 32 and 5. You didn't get to see it, but, uh, you seen the scoreboard when we started this round. And, yeah, so, started out 32 and 5. I end up going 84 and 15. Like I said, I consider myself to be pretty good. I ain't gonna say I'm the best or anything like that, because, uh, I'm pretty sure I'm not. I mean, just to be truthful, I'm not. But... I am really good, like, I mean, uh, the proof's in the pudding. I'm not cutting the video any, or editing, you just see the raw footage, guys. So, I mean, let me know if you think I, I did pretty good. I mean, that, that was horrible, I wish I would've killed that guy. I hate that, I hate the, uh, the melee weapons. Funny thing is I actually did the uh, voiceover for this video a minute ago and deleted everything I had. So I'm actually, this is the second time I'm going through watching this video and voicing it over uh, talking to you guys. But, you know, the uh, in the last video I kind of went on a rant about Fortnite. That still stands true. That was a nice sticky, if I do say so myself. But, uh, yeah, I mean... I really just think it's too slow paced and boring. I would rather play something fast paced uh, to where your your reaction time is really tested. Uh, 
that's just one of the reasons I really don't enjoy uh, Fortnite. I would rather do Call of Duty videos for you guys. And, you know, I think I'm pretty good. So. I mean, look. I'm just eating them up. And it's easy. If you stay on the outsides of maps... <clears throat> I, I usually use this strategy for all maps. I usually stay on the outside edges of the map, look toward the insides if I need to. I really don't like running through the middle of the map because you never know what will happen. So that's uh, that's something I can tell you guys is definitely one of my tips. Stay on the outsides of maps. Uh, make sure you reload. I mean, unless you're right in shooting four and five of them at a time, definitely after you kill one or two people, reload. Uh, if you are in the open and you don't see nobody around, I believe reloading's key because sometimes you run into people and do not have enough bullets to kill them and then you just die. So reloading's big, but you got to know when to reload. Anyway, there you go, guys. 84 and, uh, 84 and 15. Yeah. So, uh, comment down below how you guys think I did. Let me know. Uh, as always, like, subscribe, comment, share this with your friends, guys. We like watching this channel grow. And we, uh, we thank you guys for watching with us and, uh, hanging around with us. So, uh, yeah. Like I said, comment, like, subscribe, share. And until next time, guys. This, uh, this is Dreeds, and I'm out, ski, 5,400, so, yeah, Dreeds out.